That five of swords definitely feels like some confrontation here of swords. With the chariot over here, this is like the starting point of it all. You're basically going to go travel somewhere. Hello, my beautiful Gemini. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Starseed Zaya. Thank you for joining us. If you're new here, please make sure to subscribe and join the Star Tribe or the Soul Tribe, whichever one you like. This is a reading for the full moon in Sagittarius. So we're going to see what this full moon is going to bring about. Okay, what energy are we working with and what this is going to bring about for you my gemini okay sagittarius very intense sign a lot of movement and okay so we have beautiful cards here beautiful 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 let's move this up you have the two of coins two of cups you have the world you have the chariots you have the six of coins. Here you have the ten of swords. And then last but not least, the high priestess. So definitely a huge transformation with this full moon Gemini. Uh, what I'm seeing here is a huge story going on actually. Um, they're not really talking about the changes so much as the events coming up in the near future, okay? With the chariot over here, this is like the starting point of it all. You're basically going to go travel somewhere because we do have the world card and because we have the... I want to say this is the six of coins, am I correct? Mm, yeah. Because we do have the six of coins here. I feel like you're moving somewhere for money, for career. You're going somewhere, okay? The full moon, I feel that this is already happening so soon for a lot of you, Gemini. The full moon's really bringing you, uh, bringing out this, this action within you. And it's also being amplified because for some of you Geminis, okay, this may not resonate for everybody, but there are some Geminis here that are really mm -hmm. going through it. And with this Two of Cups and Ten of Swords, we're really seeing the relationship or certain connections around us really reaching a breaking point, okay? You yourself, Gemini, might be going through a really rough breaking point, reaching your limits. I feel that you're basically on the verge of having a mental breakdown. Um, like you're really, really close to just breaking down completely. Um, because this person or these people, whatever this is, could be a relationship, could be family, could even be yourself, um, it just, it just doesn't work, okay? There could be some sort of situation here, a loss of friendship, even a loss of a friend or a loss of somebody close to you, okay? Um, there's a lot of intense suffering here. Um, shortly after you go on your travel, I feel that you move for career, and then this happens, and you just reach your breaking point, it's a new place, you're by yourself basically, but in the end, you pull through this full moon energy, right, we see the moon there, you pull through, and you pursue your career, you, you remember why you decided to take off in the first place and you get through whatever this huge moment is that ten of swords moment okay so yeah really crazy i do get here some of you moving to arizona some of you moving to florida california texas definitely a lot of southern and uh, southwestern states here if you're in the americas uh if you're in the united states of america i should say because we're not talking about south america some of you you might even move to mexico actually so yeah the americas um some of you might even move to to mexico um which, which I said South America, I believe. That's not South America, that's Central America, I believe. 
Correct me if I'm wrong, is Mexico South America or Central America? I believe it's Central. And then everything after Belize and Panama. No, everything after Panama. Right? Everything after Panama? Or Nicaragua is South America? Something like that. Basically, Mexico is not part of the large strip we know as South America, so I'm pretty sure it's Central America, but yeah, you, you get the idea. I feel like a lot of you guys are going south to a warmer climate, okay, moving for opportunity for work, something happens here. This full moon is really just shining light on all the future events that are coming. Um, it's not really bringing about a change because I feel... Gemini that you're already going through the change you're you're already doing it so they don't want to talk about that they just want to talk about what's in your future which is interesting yeah you have the high priestess twice the chariot twice yeah you move around a lot I don't think you stay in one place yeah you you have some sort of fallouts here that Five of Swords, Judgment, um, and the Eight of Wands, yeah, a lot going on, Gemini, a lot, there's so much going on, <laughs> King of Wands in reverse, oh gosh, there's a lot going on, and the Queen of Wands, feel these two go here, you have a pair, King and Queen of Wands, okay, so, we have the chariot twice, so definitely amplifying this energy of travel. Travel, travel, travel. If you aren't traveling right now, Gemini, you will be in the next three to six months. You absolutely will be. We're seeing travel. A lot of you are going to different places, okay? Because you're pursuing other opportunity. You're looking for other opportunity. You're looking to start fresh somewhere else, okay? Um, you're looking for career change here. With that judgment and the six of coins, we're seeing some type of big career change. Something that's going to give you opportunity, uh, financial security, okay? And also some sort of leaving behind something that happened. Some sort of trauma that occurred uh, or, or something really bad that just happened. Okay, we're definitely seeing this energy of you wanting to just move on from this. Move on quickly, okay, with that eight of wands. That five of swords definitely feels like some confrontation here of swords. And because the two of cups, the queen of wands and the king of wands are directly above, definitely feel like there was relationship stuff for some of you. Or this could have been family matters. Uh, queen of wands upright, you might have been more closer to the individual that was more in their divine feminine. And then the person that was more in the divine masculine, you might have been more distant to which is why they're in reverse but two of cups definitely uh, relationship energy a close relationship could also be a uh, friendship as well and some some sort of fallout here we're seeing in the next three to six months that really just propels you to to move away from all of this and to go and pursue your bliss okay to go pursue what you desire with the high priestess twice and we have the two of coins we have two 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 here which is all about balance in our emotions and definitely an emotional time period because you're going you're going through so much gemini it's it's really intense. You're basically leaving behind a, a shitty scenario, situation, shitty relationship type of situation here. Um, can we get more information on this like relationship stuff? Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I, I, the artwork here definitely feels like somebody's looking to walk in and take advantage of you when you least expect it or when you're down and out maybe this is what happens um again i do feel for some of you there could be a loss of a friendship here that it, it's the loss is so strong it feels like somebody dies um i just feel betrayal huge betrayal at, at some sort of level here with somebody that you fought you were close with yeah, Six of Swords, you're gonna move fast. 
Gemini, you're moving very, very quickly. You're going to take things fast. You're not wasting time. Definitely chariot energy. You're just, you're done. You're done with this person, with these people, with these family members, whatever it may be. You're done. Yeah, the Empress. So you're really going to go after your wealth, your material, fi uh, financial success. You're really looking out for that. I think ultimately that is what's prompting you to move forward and to travel to all these different places because you're looking for where you can settle down and, and get the most bang for your buck and get the most opportunity for what you do, for your career, for what you majored in, okay, what you went to school to study for, or if you're starting a business, which some of you could be with that two of coin, definitely we're getting that energy of business. Um, you're looking at different areas and seeing where would be the best place to open up shops, so to speak, to maximize profits, to get your brand out, to get your face out there, some of you. So yeah, this is what the full moon is shedding light on it's going to be a bumpy ride okay we are gonna see the end of some sort of connection here um and almost like a betrayal and you just want to move away from that um you also want to look for better opportunity or you are already because i feel like some of you are already in this you're already doing the traveling but yeah, we're gonna see you start traveling, looking for better opportunity, the end of a connection, and you really getting to this place of financial material wealth. Definitely, definitely, definitely. And also getting in tune with your intuition and your emotions and following your heart. Just wanna draw one final card. Five of Swords, you have the Five of Swords twice, yeah. And the Four of Cups, yeah, really, they're, they're really pushing this, okay, this situation with this person or with these people. Um, something happens here, it sucks, but you are going to move past it. So, that is your reading, Gemini. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, and I wish you love and light. Take care.